I didn't know the gun was loaded And I'll never, never do it again Uh-oh, I didn't know it was loaded Welcome back, everyone. I am the Executioner, and today we're going to talk about firearm safety. So, with the recent events of Alec Baldwin's situation where he shot and killed a cinematographer and shot and injured a assistant director, it's a good time to talk about firearm safety. The number one rule of firearm safety is to treat every firearm as if it is loaded. Well, the first rule Alec Baldwin broke is treating the gun as if it is not loaded. He took the word of the weapons master that the gun was totally safe. You never want to do that. You want to check it yourself. You want to make sure the gun is loaded or unloaded, and you got to treat that firearm as if it is loaded at all times. Number two, this rule Alec Baldwin definitely broke. You should not let any muzzle of a firearm point at anything you are not willing to destroy. That's called flagging people here. Because people don't know if that firearm is loaded or not. So you don't want to point your firearm in all different directions because you could accidentally shoot somebody. Like Alec Baldwin did with the cinematographer and the director. And we all know what happened to the cinematographer. So don't be Alec Baldwin. Make sure that muzzle is pointing in a safe direction. Downward. Where it's not going to flag anybody and there is no chance of shooting anybody. Number three. You have to make sure you keep your finger off that trigger. I know in the movies they always have crappy trigger discipline, but you don't want to be a Hollywood actor. That's how you end up with a dead cinematographer. What you're going to do is you're going to keep your finger off the trigger. You want to do that because if you have your finger inside of the trigger and something surprises you, you can accidentally jerk your finger and shoot somebody. So what you want to do is keep your finger off the trigger at all times, and that eliminates the possibility of accidentally discharging your firearm because you had your finger inside of where it shouldn't have been. Also, you got to make sure you've made a choice to destroy whatever you want to destroy here. You want to make sure that you've done that and account for variables, etc. So you don't end up accidentally shooting somebody. You got to be aware of what's on the range, what could come into your front peripheral, and what can come right in front of you. Because you could be ready to take that shot, but something runs in front of you and you could accidentally shoot that person. So that's not a good thing. So always make sure to know if you're ready to shoot or not. You want to make sure what's behind your target, what's beyond it, because you could be shooting a 22, for example, shooting at some cans, and that bullet could go on for a while and strike somebody. So what you want to make sure is that you're shooting safely, that you know what's beyond that target, and you want to know where your target is. If you don't do that, you could end up with pepper spraying a neighbor's fence, property, or tragically, even a person or a dog. So what you want to make sure to do is to know what's beyond your target and what your target is. Another rule you should keep in mind is to definitely use eye and ear protection. It is not fun to not use earplugs. Trust me, it is loud as hell and it can definitely damage your hearing. So make sure to use eye protection and hearing protection. What you also want to do is use the correct ammunition for your firearm. You also want to make sure not to take drugs or alcohol while handling or shooting firearms. Definitely don't do that. It's the same with a car. So don't drink or use drugs while firing guns or handling guns. You also want to use the right ammunition for your firearm. Uh, for example, putting a 300 blackout in a 5.56 rifle, that is not a good time. Putting a 5.56 in a 223 rifle, not a good time. These can lead to catastrophic malfunctions that can permanently damage your gun and can maim you as well because the energy has got to go somewhere and your gun explodes. So look at Kentucky Ballistics video and you'll see what I'm talking about here. 
So use the correct ammunition for your firearm. Hope you guys liked the video. Give it a subscribe, ring the bell, etc. Hope you guys liked the video and my firearm safety tips. I'll also link down below where I got a lot of this information from personal experience and MachineGunsVegas.com and NRA Safety Gun Rules. Dot com as well. My video is not necessarily to make fun of the Alec Baldwin situation here or the cinematographer or director. It's more to point out the blatant uh, stupidity of Alec Baldwin and how he's so anti-gun yet he couldn't follow these basic safety rules and he ended up unfortunately claiming a life. I know you guys love firearms so I just want to make sure you guys are safe out there at the range, dirt pit, wherever you shoot. Make sure you're shooting in a safe environment. Always have a backstop. Always follow these rules and stay free.